What's going on guys, Alton Astacio here with flightpath.com. Now I was actually in contact with DD Microphones a few months back. I was actually talking to them, just looking at some other alternative or uh, alternate microphones to use on my camera. Now, of course, if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I normally would use like the Rode Video Micro or the Rode Pro Plus. And I know that DD was one of those uh, companies that had um, you know, very similar style shotgun mics to use for vlogs and for talking head stuff like this. So I reached out to them and you know, kind of talked to them about my channel, what I did. Come to find out, of course, that DD was part or is part of Aperture, kind of like a sister company to Aperture. And I'm sure if you if you don't know, Aperture is a very high quality lighting company that really took 2018, you know to the next level as far as building their brand off of like social media influencers and YouTubers. And Didi now is in the microphone game producing really, really high quality, innovative microphones and also doing very similar formula and working with a lot of influencers and YouTubers. I was really excited that after we talked, they actually looked at my channel and saw that I did a bunch of interviews and they let me know that they were coming out with a new microphone, a new wireless system. And they thought it'd be a good fit for me to test out in my interviews and things like that, like I did at CES and I also did last year at NAB. So they actually sent me the new DD Connect. This is the 2.4 gigahertz wireless system. And after talking to them, they're like telling me that this is the system out of the box. It's a really, really good starter kit but high-end starter kit because it contains everything you're gonna need to really get going if you wanted to use uh, this type of wireless system in the field. Now this video, I actually already opened it up just to power it on, just to see exactly if, how it worked and how it connected. Uh, but I just wanna show you guys exactly what comes in the DD Connect kit. And I'm gonna be doing a full review after NAB or during NAB because of the fact that I've done a review here, or at least I did a few tests here, walking down the street, some distance tests and things like that. All right, just for a quick distance test, I already measured out as far as the length of my street. So I know the length of my street is actually about 500 feet all the way to the very end. We are, I don't know, about, a little bit more than a little less than halfway through now so I'm gonna keep on walking all the way down I'm sure you're not probably not gonna see me on camera and I'm actually running right now how does the audio sound right now I'm actually running uh, not running I'm giving you a little light jog but that doesn't really give me a full review of this type of system I want to be able to take it into an area where there's gonna be a lot of interference a lot of radio transmission so I do want to take it to NAB and really test it out there and then do a full review and talk about a little bit more after NAB because I think that's just gonna be the place where you're gonna run into a lot of issues with systems like this so let's just get right into it uh, when you first get the kit it comes in this box has a little illustration on the front and then also has, of course, all the information on the back of what this thing features. And what's really nice with them is that they, they send this to you in a, it's a hard case. It's a nice hard case. I mean, very similar to like those drone cases that I actually review. So when we first open it up, we have two wireless transmitters, of course, one receiver and all the cables you're gonna need to hook it up to your camera. And what I did is I actually was hooking this up to my Sony a7 III. And then of course has all the cables and system that you're gonna need for you to have audio now when it comes to the full specs, I'll make sure all the full specs are gonna be listed here on screen as well as down below in the video description. I just wanna quickly kinda of go over exactly what are some key features that I saw as far as just the actual transmitter and receiver themselves. But of course, there's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing during the testing uh, that I'll talk about later on in a future video. But here I just wanna kinda of show you some key points that I really liked when I powered it off for the first time. Now here's one of the two transmitters that it comes with. What's nice is that they have a one inch OLED display right here on front. What I saw was really cool about this one is that the lavalier mics as well as the antennas both have those locking systems. Now I'm kind of old school so I've actually used some old wireless mic systems in the past where you would just kind of plug in the lav. Very similar to like if you have like a Zoom H1 or something like that where you're just kind of plugging in. Here they all lock in. Now if it's on your subject, if it's on their belt or if you stick it in their back pocket or um, you know that it's not gonna pop out. Like a lot of mics, even when I did a lot of stuff at NAB, I was using you know just an external uh, Zoom mic and I would always have to check if my mic was plugged in. So sometimes when you give it to 
uh, you know, the, the talon. You don't know if that thing popped out when they're putting it in their pocket. So it's nice that they have those locking systems on both the antenna and on the microphone. Once you power it on, you can see the battery level and of course we have the transmission, but right now it's not hooked up because the receiver is not hooked up to the transmission. Uh, but you can just go through the menu system here and everything is pretty straightforward as far as changing those settings go. I will talk about more in depth about some of these settings in a future video. Now some of the old systems that I was using before would be, you know, a two or three double A's. Now, of course, as you know, double A's, you're gonna have to probably change that just, you know, knowing that it might die you would normally go out, change it about halfway through your event. Say for instance, you're doing a wedding, you'd probably change out your batteries about halfway just in case. So here they have you know, a USB-C port at the very bottom to charge that battery, which is supposed to last about 10 hours. But what's nice about that is that you're able to use something like an external bank or energy bank and plug it in. So if you did find yourself running a little bit low, you can just get like an extra you know, energy stick, plug it in USB-C here, and now you can of course use it as long as that battery is charged. Now the casing is made out of aluminum and then the top here is made out of just a plastic. The clip is really strong, so this is really good for just clipping onto your belt or of course if you wanna throw it into your back pocket. It does have a pretty slim design here, so it does not gonna bulge out of the pocket. So this is some of the basic features of the transmitter itself. Now let's talk about the receiver. This is the Duo RX receiver. Now this is the same thing. It has a 10 hour battery life as well as rechargeable USB-C here at the bottom. And on the top here, we also have the one inch OLED display. It gives you battery life, not only of the receiver, but it gives you battery life of the other transmitters. So right now I do have one of the transmitters on. So as you can see here, my receiver is pretty low on battery, uh, but my transmitter is about 75% and my transmission signal is really strong. So the one thing that's nice about this OLED display is that you're now getting the battery life of not just the receiver, but also of each transmitter as well as the signal strength from that. So if you had to make adjustments, you can actually just quickly look at it and see exactly what you might need to do. And you can also boost the audio and adjust gain per each transmitter directly from here. So you actually don't have to necessarily go all the way to the talent to make those changes. You can actually make it from the receiver itself. And the one thing that's really nice about this one is that on the bottom of it, it has a quarter 20 as well as a three eighths. Now it also comes with a little cold shoe adapter. So if you want to hook this up to your rig, you can actually put this where your camera hot shoe is or if you just have a mount or a bracket system like I have on here, I have a little small rig cage on it, you can actually hook this up to the side of the cage. But it also has two outputs, A and a B. Uh, you're going to use one of those outputs that goes from here directly to your camera and they include a cord for that. Then there's also an output B and this output B can actually be turned into a headphone jack if you wanted to monitor off of this. So it gives you a couple different options, which I really like. That's something that I never really saw on a few other uh, systems that I was looking at. Now the one thing I like about this system is that you're able to see everything about the transmitter directly onto the receiver. So right now, this is A and this is B. I have transmitter B on, as you can see right here. Transmitter B is has full signal, as well as battery life is about 70% or so. Uh, and I can just go directly into B and I can see right here I have A and B. I click on B, hit OK or hit select. Now I can see on my receiver what that mic level is and if I wanted to change the mic level of B, all I have to do is hit select and now I can change it directly from my receiver all the way up to, I believe it's 21 decibels right there. And if I want to adjust that down, I can adjust it all the way down to negative 12. So you're making these adjustments here on the receiver, which makes it a lot easier so you don't always have to go back to the transmitter to make those adjustments. It gives you a lot more flexibility, a lot more control over the entire system, and you're able to basically make those adjustments, those fine tune adjustments based on each one of the transmitters. Here we have a cable. So if you have more than one of these transmitter systems, you can actually sync them up using this cable like here. And then of course, like I mentioned, we have the cold shoe, uh, adapter the quarter 20 where you're able to adjust this and put this onto the receiver hook it up to your cage if you want to and here we have a USB C to USB so this is where you're going to be doing your charging as well as your firmware updates I don't know why it's white I don't know if they're maybe they're going to change this to black in the new kit it just kind of kind of stands out two lavalier mics so of course we have two transmitters so you're able to hook up two subjects we have two lavaliers right here 
And last piece right here is that we have two XLR cables. So if you want to hook this up via XLR. So there it is guys, just a first look and unboxing of the new DD Connect system. Now there's a ton of things that's in this thing like advanced frequency hopping, dual channel, you know, the way you pair it, you know, just the way the UI is and how you're connecting and how you can control the transmitters off of just the receiver. Ton of those things I'm gonna be testing out. I did do a bunch of tests here, you know, distance tests, and, and, and it worked fine at a very far distance. But I mean, that's not a, to me, that's not really a review. I wanna take this where there could be major issues, and that's gonna be at NAB, mostly because there's a ton of interference, there's a ton of other radio frequencies, where a lot of things can go wrong. I think that would, you know, be a more real world review, real world test on this system and how well it performs. As always, if you guys got some value from my video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and also hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And don't forget, stop me at NAB if you guys wanna help me test these out, then hopefully I can get you guys in my next video as far as the real world review goes, you guys can kinda of see it firsthand. Don't forget to say hi or stop, and let's uh, help me test these out together at NAB. That's about all I got. This is Aldrin Stasio with flypath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.